Hello everyone, Amy R here with Prairie Paper and Ink and for my card today I am starting off with some ultra smooth white cardstock that I trimmed down to four and a quarter by five and a half and then once I've got it trimmed down I'm going to just tape it to my work surface with a little bit of washi tape just so that it doesn't move around while I'm blending ink over it and then I'm going to use one of my current favorites, which is the uh, Linking Rings Stencil by Tonic. And I'm going to tape that into place as well with some washi tape. And then I'm using three different shades of kind of aqua hybrid inks from three of the different um, packs. I've got Mint Macaroon, Laguna Bay, and Moroccan Teal. And they're basically like light, medium, dark of this aqua shade. Like they're just perfect. So I started with the lightest shade and I just very lightly blended that onto um, over the stencil onto the cardstock. And then I went in with the medium shade, which was the Laguna Bay. And then my darkest was the Moroccan Teal. And I just kind of kept that more concentrated to the center. And that's it. Just did that with the blending sponge, lightly blended on. The colors will just kind of smooth into each other as they dry and they're good to go. So after I did my quick and easy background, I pulled out the, this is the Wings and Things Mariposa Wings wafer die set, as well as the Wings and Things Butterfly and Dragonfly die set. And I chose the more, like I think it's meant for the dragonfly, the body, and I die cut them both from black cardstock. I just really liked how that other body looked versus the first one. So I used those, die cut black cardstock, and then to add color to it, I am just sponging on some Indian gold embossing mousse. And I'm just working on some scrap paper so that I don't make a mess. Um, usually I'll work on my like Tim Holtz glass media mat, but I was filming this at night and when I have my lights on, the glare on my camera is insane. So I'm just working on scrap paper for this. And I'm just pink picking up the um, embellishment mousse with uh, one of the blending sponges and on the like the wings of the butterfly I'm kind of just concentrating the embellishment mousse on the edges and then kind of letting them kind of blend towards the center really easy to blend these and then once I was happy with it I went in and very heavily applied the embellishment mousse to the body and left the antennae like black so it was a little a little bit of finicky fiddling what I should have done <laughs> was what I did afterwards. What I should have done was taped the pieces together first, then blended <laughs> instead of doing it all backwards. But I blended the little like inner die cut pieces. You could die cut these, you know, from contrasting pieces of cardstock or the mirror card or glitter, anything like that. And, you know, inlay them in that. But I just wanted it to be more like kind of the solid gold, like the edges of the wings. So after I was happy with it and it was dry, I just flipped it over and use little little teeny tiny strips of washi tape just to tape the pieces together and then I'll like glue them down. But yeah, I should have done that first, then blended on the embellishment mousse. It would have been so much easier that way. But anywho, you know, as always, hindsight's 2020. So I just use little strips just to hold those pieces in place. And then I'm going to adhere these all in a minute with some craft tacky glue. But got that all um, adhered together so I don't lose those little inner pieces. And then I'm going to add now a little bit more of the embellishment mousse just to fill in any little marks I left trying to get it on there in the first place. So got that all applied, set those aside to dry. And then for my sentiments, I actually pulled out this little, um, this is the little something for Harry stamp set. <laughs> it is a cute little set, but I really like the sentiments in it. So I pulled out a couple of the sentiments and I'm using just my um, travel stamp platform here. And I'm going to line up the thank you word first. And I'm going to stamp that with the clear mark embossing ink. And I'm going to heat emboss this with the Nouveau um, Detail Gold embossing powder. So got that lined up. Use my anti-static powder tool. Stamp the thank you sentiment with the clear mark embossing ink. And then I'll coat it with the Detail Gold embossing powder. And then melt that with my heat tool. And then once I've got that melted, I'm going to line this back up in my stamp platform again so I can stamp a second sentiment right below it. And I'm going to stamp the second sentiment just with the black shadow um, hybrid ink. So get everything lined up and then this way I can actually stamp the, because it's like a, such a small sentiment, I can stamp it a couple times to make it really crisp and black so it actually stands out. So line that up get that onto the lid of my travel platform. And then I'm just gonna ink the stamp up a couple of times and stamp it with that black shadow ink. And then I've got the sentiment done for my card front. 
So once I've got that done, I can go on to finishing the rest of this card. So I'm going to adhere the body of the butterfly with some craft tacky glue and I'm only applying the adhesive right to the very center here. I want the wings to kind of pop up and you can see how big this wafer die is. Like this is an A2 card front. So this butterfly is bigger than that. So with a card like this, either I would cut off the part of the wing that's hanging over if I want to fit it into an A2 envelope or I would use a bigger envelope or I would include it with something that I'm like hand delivering so I wouldn't use an envelope at all. So it just kind of depends on personal preference. So I adhered the just the center area and then same with the body of the butterfly. I only applied adhesive to the body. I let the antenna like stick up. So again, gives it just all that extra like dimension. And then before I adhere that to my card base, I want to just add something to the inside of the card. So I just grabbed some masking paper here and I'm just gonna mask off kind of a rectangular strip on the inside of the card, just using my craft mat to kind of make sure they're lined up straight. And then I'm gonna use the linking rings stencil again, just to add, you know, some color and some pattern to the inside of the card and the same um, inks as I used on the front. So just lightly kind of blending from the center out just to give it that pattern. And there was residual ink left on the blending brush. So I only need to use the lightest really because it kind of reactivated the darker colors and I was good to go. So got that blended onto the inside really quick and easy. And then I grabbed another sentiment from the little something for Harry stamp set. And I'm gonna line this up again in my stamp platform so I can stamp this a couple times right over that blended area. It's just a tiny little sentiment, but again, it just gives that little extra something. So the outside I'll say thank you for everything and then on the inside I'll say you're awesome. So line that up in the center and then I'm going to stamp this again a couple of times with that black shadow hybrid ink. Just inking it up more than once because one it's a brand new stamp so sometimes they take more than one stamping to get a crisp image and also because it's a smaller sentiment I really wanted it to stand out. Just got that stamped going to fold my card now and crease it with my card creaser, which I've mentioned in other videos. I'm kind of obsessed with this thing. It just makes the fold like extra crisp. Anyway, <laughs> creased my card and then I'm going to adhere this card front with that same craft tacky glue. Just, I was just making sure that everything like lined up and that, you know, the card base wasn't bigger than the card front because that happens so often. So adhere that to my card front. And then as a final little bit of embellishment, I couldn't resist pulling out some of the crystal gems, gemstones. So I'm gonna put those onto the card base here, just to add a little bit of bling. So um, there's like three or four sizes in this container. So I just picked a variety of sizes and kind of sprinkled these onto the card front. And then once I was kind of happy with the placement, I'm just gonna adhere these into place with that same craft tacky glue, just using my little jewel picker adhere everything and then this card will be complete. So as always there will be links below the video to my blog post, there will be a supply list with links to all the supplies used so you can check that out below if you are interested or want to find any of these things. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing and thumbs upping and commenting, I really appreciate it and I will see you all very soon in the next video. Bye!